Hello and welcome to this short video on Quantum Spark appliances. This is a short video just to show you a couple of updates that we have as we continue to innovate and make new features for the Quantum Spark appliances. So with the release of R81.10 or 5, there are a bunch of new features as you can see here across different areas from security, network and monitoring and diagnostics. You'll be able to view the uh, the software versions here and download the release notes. And what I want to show you today really is the Dr. Spark and load the new diagnostics tool that we have in the web UI. So let's take a look at these features on my actual gateway that I've got. So I've got a 1590 appliance here uh, running the uh, R81.10 version over here. What we're going to do is come down to the troubleshooting section and click on tools. And we can see here we've got the uh, Dr. Spark load and generate the Dr. Spark report. So the Dr. Spark load uh, is actually going to show us some information about the sizing of the gateway uh, and around the CPU and memory usage and which software blades are actually enabled on the gateway. So we can see we can click the button to now download the actual performance report. So we'll click that and as you can see here it is a text file that gets downloaded. Uh, and you can see some very high level information about the performance, number of connections, host, throughput, packet rate, uh, blade status and CPU and memory. I think this is absolutely amazing that we can now at a click of a button very quickly understand the performance of my gateway, which is really quick and easy to do and very helpful in my, uh, in my environment. So we'll now take a look at the second uh, feature that we've got here which is the Dr. Spark report. This is going to show you a number of tests that we actually perform on the gateway and it will indicate if the, the actual test has uh, passed or failed and it gives a lot more detail around why it failed uh, if it does actually fail as well. So we can run that and we can actually then actually be able to access this report in our web browser to actually view uh, on our machine as well. So the report's finished creating, we can go ahead and download the report and you can see it is a zip file that is actually downloaded. And we can go ahead and open the uh, HTML file over here. Okay, so you can see what we've got here, this fantastic report. On the left hand side you can see different areas that we can view within the report itself. Very quickly we can see at a high level uh, the ones that have passed, the ones that may have a problem uh, and the ones that we want to investigate. So we can see if we click on one of these, the one that's at the top here, the core dump, the test has failed uh, and the, where the uh, core file can be found. Other information around the policy test, access rules, all these different checks that it has actually done, we can see here in more detail. Uh, you know, some of these things I haven't configured and I've purposely uh, broken them so you can actually see the uh, some of the report that actually comes out. So for me, both of these tools I think are going to be very valuable for all of you to use. So I encourage you to start upgrading to the latest version over here and start utilizing not just only these features, but the other features uh, within the new version of software as well. Thank you for watching.